Argus, shift your position back and drift eight degrees off x-axis. That should bring that Moiler into your field of fire. Corvus, redirect to fill the gap and take those gunboats off integrity. Scimitar? We return to play bait. Push forward. Let's see how strong that line is. Raiden, you're their support. In capital ship fire. No, it's too focused. It's more like heavy fighters. Do we have a line on them? Turrets have been taken out, sir. Going lead. Come in. We need you to sweep up some fighters on us. On it, sir. Get us in close. Aye, sir. You're up, turret gunners. We're guarding Bishop here. Make me proud. On it, sir. Squadron 42 is a new game set in the Star Citizen universe. It's a single-player adventure where you play as a new recruit in a space navy. You'll fly spaceships and fight on foot, battling aliens and space pirates. The game mixes action with storytelling, letting you make choices that affect the story and your relationships with other characters. The game features famous actors like Mark Hamill and Gillian Anderson, making it feel like an interactive movie. You can expect to spend about 20 to 40 hours playing through the main story, with lots of side missions to explore. While the game is mostly finished, the developers are still polishing it. They haven't announced an exact release date yet, but some think it might come out in 2026. As for platforms, it's being developed for PC, but there's no word yet on whether it will be available on consoles. Hey, that's off limits. She was always charging headfirst into the darkness. I was always one step behind. Looking for the light switch. The Celestials hunted us down. I knew they'd keep chasing us until they ripped our ship apart. Come on! And I had to save her. We both knew the cost of using the gates. 
When you travel at light speed, time slows to a crawl. It was only days for me, but an entire lifetime passed for her. And in the chaos of those final moments, we never said goodbye. Exodus is an upcoming science fiction role-playing game developed by Archetype Entertainment. In this game, players take on the role of the Traveler in a hostile galaxy where humans have fled from Earth. The game's unique feature is its time dilation mechanic, where time passes differently for the player and their home civilization. This affects the player's choices and their long-term consequences. Exodus aims to provide an immersive storytelling experience with cinematic elements and player choices that significantly impact the game world. The game is being created by experienced developers, including the director of Knights of the Old Republic. While there's no specific release date yet, Exodus is being developed for PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC. Pragmata is an upcoming action-adventure game being made by Capcom. Set in a future world on the moon, the game tells the story of two robots living there after humans left. These robots start to act more like humans and want to go back to Earth. The game mixes exploring, storytelling, and action. Players will solve puzzles and use special tools instead of just shooting. The game looks really good, using the power of new game systems to create amazing visuals. The game was first shown in 2020 and has been delayed a few times. Right now, we don't know exactly when it will come out. Some people think it might not be ready until 2025 or even later. Capcom wants to make sure the game is really good before they release it. When it does come out, it will likely be available on new game systems like PS5 and Xbox Series X and S. Digging. Always searching for answers we should have never asked. Always clawing at the surface like worms begging for food. A lack of understanding to push what we don't know when something should be left alone.
Retrieval is an upcoming cinematic horror adventure game that blends survival horror with action-adventure gameplay. Developed by 333 Studios, the game puts players in the shoes of Hana Loche, the leader of a research team stranded on the distant planet Rihalian. What starts as a routine mission quickly turns into a nightmare when Hana finds herself trapped in an abandoned, retro-futuristic subway base. As players explore this eerie environment, they'll uncover dark secrets about the planet's history and the fate of Hana's team. The game offers a mix of exploration, puzzle solving, and strategic combat. Players will need to carefully manage their resources and think critically about each encounter as they navigate through dangerous areas. Retrieval promises to deliver a gripping story with unexpected twists, touching on themes of friendship, loyalty, and love, all while maintaining a constant sense of dread and horror. Retrieval is set to release in 2026, though an exact date hasn't been announced yet. Players can look forward to experiencing this intense survival horror game on PC through Steam, PlayStation 5, and Xbox Series X and S. military has nothing to do with this. This is a scientific discovery. I think I found something. Doc, I'm guessing you've covered your fair share of reports regarding uh, signs of life. To say that this geode is really a sign of life is a little much. Actually, this is only my second time investigating one of these reports. Hand over the geode, Doctor. Who are you? Just give it to me and no one gets hurt. What the hell? Jesse seems pretty hopeful about the find being a sign. Jesse's inexperienced. Give it up, Doctor. Project Vesperi is an upcoming indie game that combines exploration, puzzle solving, and storytelling. In this game, players will explore a mysterious world full of ancient ruins and hidden secrets. The game's world is beautiful, with bright colors and detailed environments. Players will solve puzzles by interacting with their surroundings and gradually uncover the story of the world. The game's art style mixes realistic and stylized elements to create an immersive atmosphere. Project Vesperi is still being developed and the creators are sharing updates about its progress. They haven't announced a specific release date yet. When it's ready, the game is expected to be available on PC and game consoles.
before something else breaks. Lights are back on, that's good. Negative Atmosphere is an indie horror game that blends survival horror with exploration and puzzle solving. Developed by Nostalgia Games, it puts players in a deserted space station where they must uncover dark secrets and face lurking threats. The game features exploration of various station sections, environmental puzzles that require critical thinking, and careful resource management. Negative Atmosphere creates a tense atmosphere through its sound design and visual storytelling promising a gripping horror experience with both psychological and environmental challenges. Players will navigate through the eerie environment, piecing together the events that led to the station's abandonment while encountering remnants of previous inhabitants. The game's immersive gameplay mechanics and engaging narrative aim to keep players on edge as they delve deeper into the mysteries of the space station. Negative Atmosphere's release not yet announced. It will be available on multiple platforms including PC, PS5, and Xbox Series X and S. My name is Taylor Fox. I am a journalist. Farmer Peter Sherman contacted me. He told me about terrifying unexplained phenomena happening on his farm. I went there to investigate, but everything didn't go as planned. Although we agreed to meet, no one was home. From a note, I understood that the farmer's daughter, Megan, disappeared. His wife, Susan, started behaving strangely, as if someone was controlling her like a puppet. All the animals on the farm were sick, infected with some parasite. I found out that there was a secret military complex near the farm that nobody knew about. The military was monitoring the Sherman family. Something terrible happened here 30 years ago which a series of inexplicable events began. Now, I feel like someone is watching me. God, what have I gotten myself into? They are here. Alien Abduction Horror is a scary game where you play as a reporter named Taylor Fox. You visit a spooky farm called Grayswood Farm to look into weird things happening there. The farmer's family has seen strange lights in the sky and animals acting oddly. As you explore, you find out scary things about aliens and the farm's dark past. You'll walk around the farm in a nearby army base using things like a flashlight and camera to find clues about the aliens. 
The game tries to make you feel scared by using creepy sounds and sights. The game is still being made and should come out in 2025. I became a witness. And what I saw consumes me. On good days, the trees are glowing like a city at night. But the beauty is deceiving. It's the last resistance of a world facing extermination. The shadows are coming back. A corruption haunting this planet. I can't leave. And I'm ready to stride to the edge of darkness. It's here, Alex. Five seconds. Reassigning your suit powers for combat. Good luck. Other Skin is an exciting new sci-fi platformer game being made by Game Atelier and published by FDG Entertainment. In this game, you play as Alex, a character on a dangerous mission to explore the mysterious planet Vandermeer. What makes Other Skin special is that you can absorb special abilities from the environment. These abilities help you fight better and move around in cool ways. The game promises smooth movement and fun combat, where you can use your new powers to solve problems and beat enemies. The game's look is said to be impressive and fit well with its sci-fi theme. As for when you can play other skin, the release date hasn't been announced yet. The developers haven't said which gaming systems it will be available on either. Routine is an upcoming indie horror game developed by Lunar Software that promises to deliver a unique and captivating experience. Set in a retro-futuristic abandoned lunar base, the game blends exploration, puzzle-solving, and survival horror elements. Players will navigate through different time periods within the base, uncovering its mysterious past while facing mechanical enemies and otherworldly phenomena. The game emphasizes a tense atmosphere through its sound design and visual storytelling, creating an immersive horror experience reminiscent of classic titles. Players will encounter dynamic challenges that require strategic thinking to overcome, adding to the overall tension. Release date not yet announced. Players will be able to experience this haunting adventure on PC, PS5, and Xbox Series X and S. I've always wanted to fly. The joy of it, the freedom of it. To just take your life in your hands and soar. I think that's in us all, isn't it? At least that's what my dad taught me.
Directive 8020 is an upcoming survival horror game developed by Supermassive Games, the creators of the Dark Pictures Anthology. Set in space, the game follows the crew of the colony ship Cassiopeia after they crash land on the planet Tau Ceti F. Players must survive against a dangerous alien life form that can mimic its prey, creating an atmosphere of suspicion and fear. Players will face moral choices that affect not only their survival, but potentially the fate of Earth itself. Directive 8020 also includes a five-player online cooperative mode, allowing friends to experience the story together. The game is set to release in 2025, though an exact date hasn't been announced yet. When it launches, players will be able to experience this cosmic horror adventure on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC.